But which way will it go today? Your match commentator is Gary Bloom. Germany go into this European Championship qualifier with high hopes of winning here and winning the group. They're anxious to avoid the problems they encountered in qualification for the World Cup finals when England won the group after winning 5-1 in Munich. The World Cup runners-up are the strongest country in this group. Scotland, realistically, will be happy with the runners-up spot. Scotland are missing the services of Barry Ferguson, Don Hutchinson and James McFadden. Bertie Vokes has opted for Maurice Ross instead of Graham Alexander at right back. The central defensive pairing from hearts of Andy Webster and Stephen Presley lack experience at this level. Germany announced this 11 five days ago, but they were always concerned that star midfield player Michael Balak would shake off the effects of a calf strain. Well, he plays. Freddie Bobic played in Britain here last season with Bolton Wanderers in the English Premier League. Miroslav Klose, one year ago, was scoring five headed goals at the World Cup Finals. And a packed Hamlin, it's Scotland who get this European Championship qualifier underway. At home, Scotland have only lost four times out of 35 games in European Championship qualification history. There's Oli Kahn, who's just signed a new three-year deal with Bayern Munich. Rudy Vollert, the coach of the German national team, who played under Bertie Vokes when Bertie Vokes ruled the German national side. Now, he was looking for a free kick. Caught by Paul Lambert, who says he'll decide on his international future after today's game. Maurice Ross will take the throw here for Scotland. Over the head of Devlin. Helped on by Klosser. Rather uncertain piece of defending between Andy Webster and Rab Douglas here, the Scottish goalkeeper. Andy Webster, just 21 years old, was hesitant and helping his goalkeeper would come to the edge of his penalty area. Schneider. Jens Jeremies. Neat, concise football here by the Germans. It's Balak. It wasn't clear until half an hour before the kickoff that Michael Balak had shaken off this calf injury and would play. Scotland happy to allow him to shoot from that sort of range. Scotland pouring forward here. Seven is Paul Devlin. Devlin taking on Rao. And he's won the corner kick. Tobias Rao will be moving to Bayern Munich next season. Paul Devlin could be moving from Birmingham City, his current club. Naismith with the corner. Oli Kahn couldn't get there. And here comes a German counter-attack. Schneider pouring forward. It's still burnt Schneider. And after running fully 50 yards, his shot was disappointing to say the least. Nice tempo to this game. And that's mainly being delivered by Scotland. Germany just trying to keep the Scots at arm's length. Balak. Frings. Schneider. Balak. Torsten Frings now for Germany. And Bobic! Freddy Bobic scores for Germany. It's his fourth international goal in six games since his recall to the national team. A little bit of an experience at the back there between Presley and Webster allowed Bobic the space. And Bobic pounds to convert this cross by Torsten Frings. Scotland nil, Germany won. Friedrich with the clearance. Cameron. Miller. Terrific tackle there. It's Miller again. Just no space there for Scotland. As the German defence close ranks, Balak slides the ball forward here. Schneider. There's 
a foul by Andy Webster of Hearts on Bernd Schneider. He played on this ground last season in the Champions League final for Bayer Leverkusen. Free kick then to Germany, headed clear by Devlin. Frings. Tobias Rao. Easy pickings there for Rab Douglas. But Germany very much in the ascendancy and they have a goal. Christian Daly. Naismith. Gary Naismith, the most experienced defender playing for Scotland today. Paul Lambert. He's Scotland captain. Devlin. Ross to his right. Lambert to his left. Ross. Good cross cut out by Carsten Ramelow. Scotland have responded since going a goal behind, and here's Ross with the throw. Miller's cross. Miller trying to get back on the end of it. But as industry wins the corner kick for Scotland. Kenny Miller, who helped Wolves gain promotion to the English Premier League just a few days ago. Ollie Khan is set. It's Crawford! Stevie Crawford, who scored last week against New Zealand in a friendly. And a rather disappointing finish, bearing in mind he was unmarked. Daly tried to flick it on, it came through very invitingly there for Crawford, who certainly snapped at his opportunity. Bertie Vokes knows that. Rod Stewart, an ardent Scotland fan amongst the crowd. Stephen Presley has given away this free kick now. The last thing Scotland need here is to concede another goal before half-time as Balak stands over the ball. Schneider. Oh, it's a fine shot by Schneider. And a fine save too from Rab Douglas. Ball seemed to swerve somewhat. Schneider with a corner. Balak's in there. Scotland get the ball to safety. Ramada. Christian Verns. Ramelow again. Trying to initiate another German attack here. Jens Jeremies. Oh, they've won it back. It's Rao. Hardly touched the ball. Tobias Rao could have given Germany their second goal here after that surging run by Jens Jeremies. He was almost there. Corner kick to Scotland. It came off rings. So the two central defenders go forward, Presley and Webster, the two men from Hearts. Christian Daly given the job today of marking Michael Ballack. It's Daly. Anywhere will do for the Germans. Ross. And that by Rao. Ballack. May Smith did ever so well. Michael Ballack doesn't look completely fit, but even the heart fit, Michael Ballack is a pretty useful player to have in your team. Gary Naismith, the Everton left back. And Germany just about shaded that first half, and they have the goal to show for it too. Headed in by Freddy Bobic. The question now is can the Germans hang on to that advantage in the second 45 minutes? 
The half-time score from Hampden Park in this European Championship qualifier. Scotland nil, Germany one. Germany have only enjoyed one win in their last five visits to Scotland. And they have to restart the game, a goal up in this European Championship qualifier. No substitutions at half-time. Seven here is Torsten Frings, who had a major hand in the German goal. Schneider. And he's wrestled off the ball illegally by Andy Webster. And now Frings has gone to ground under the challenge of Lambert. Paul Lambert, who knows all about German football, he used to play for Borussia Dortmund. And indeed won the European Champions League with them. Bubic trying to lose his marker, Webster. Lambert, his possession straight back to Germany. Ramelo. Seven here is Torsten Frings. Ramelo tries to pick out closer, who's hardly got in the game in truth. Daly with the double header. Naismith and the pressure now from Balak who's dispossessed him. And then Naismith fouls him and Balak responds rather angrily. No shortage of encouragement here for the Scots from their fanatical supporters. But at the moment Germany are holding firm. Oli Khan, the captain and goalkeeper. Presley. Christian Verns. Lambert takes over here for Scotland. Scotland ranked 64th by FIFA. Up against a side ranked 4th in the world. Naismith. It's a good ball as well. Crawford. Oh, it's beaten away by Khan. Crawford again. Fresh air shot, would you believe, by Colin Cameron. This is much better by Scotland. Crawford threatened here. And when Crawford headed it back across the face of goal, Cameron should have scored. Scotland just building up ahead of steam now. Daly. Maurice Ross. Devlin. Still Devlin taking on Burns. And Devlin fouled by Burns, and Michael Balak has something to say to the referee's assistant about that. Devlin with a free kick, took a deflection, Daly's after it. And it's pulled away here by Torsten Frings. Closer. Relatively easy save there for Rab Douglas as Balak tries to get back now. Rudy Voller, Michael Skibak, the coaching duo of the German national team. This is Germany's tenth game since the World Cup final. They won just four of those. This is Oliver Kahn, who's had his off-the-field problems in recent weeks, with his private life splashed over the front pages of the German national press. Devlin. Lambert now for Scotland. 
Kenny Miller. Miller again. There's a handball in there. Free kick to Scotland. And it's taken quickly by Cameron, and Miller equalises! The quick thinking there of Colin Cameron was the undoing of Germany. And his Wolves teammate, Kenny Miller, makes it Scotland 1, Germany 1. The handball resulted in the free kick given against them before Christian Burns. And Miller was onto that ball by Cameron in a flash. Only his second international goal, but it could be a vital one. Hampden Park is a cauldron of noise now, as Scotland, who underperformed so spectacularly under Bertie Vokes, now seem to have found their mettle. Balak. Looking to pick out Miroslav Klose, but there's a steely determination about the Scots now. Balak. Paul Fryer, the substitute. Balak again. Aimed in towards Bobic. And Bobic might get there yet! He's already scored one goal in this match. He could have done a lot better here. Scotland won, Germany won. Lambert for Scotland. Naismith. Colin Cameron. Ricocheted off Jens Jeremies. And Scotland have played a whole lot better in this second half. Lambert with the corner. Cameron. Smith shoots wide. Well, from looking like they were going to win this game, Germany looked like they're happy to hang on for a draw. Christian Daly gets his head to the ball. Christian Burns, who was involved in the hand ball incident which led to the Scotland goal. Arguably the best goalkeeper in Europe. And you can see Germany happy to keep possession. They don't wish to threaten the Scottish goal anymore. They want to hang on to this precious point. Carsten Ramelo. Tackled by Colin Cameron. Ball just slightly overhit from Stevie Crawford. Gives the ball away. An uncharacteristic error by him. Crawford. A bit of nonsense between Carson Ramelo and Paul Lambert. Miller, Naismith. An ambitious ball in by Naismith. And able to pick out uh, Gavin Ray. He almost got there. Banak just helps the ball forward now. Banak. Fryer. Burns. Jeremy's ducked out the challenge. Ramelow doesn't know. And there's some pushing and shoving, which the referee chose to ignore. Hardly a popular man at the moment, the referee inside Hampden Park. For the Scottish fans at least. Balak. Now was there a foul there right on the edge of the penalty area? 
Oliver Neuville went to ground. Was Neuville held back? Quite clearly he was. Could this be the key moment of this football match? Schneider and Jeremy stand over the ball. It's Schneider. Oh, fantastic save! Ben Schneider must have thought he'd won the game here for the Germans. Rab Douglas got the very ends of his fingertips to the ball and concedes a corner. Schneider. Oh, it's blasted over the top from about six yards by number four here, Christian Verns. The Scotland marking had gone to sleep. Scotland still pressing. Jackie McNamara. It's going to be easy for Oliver Kahn. Paul Fryer from the Bochum Club. Bobic. No offside. That one took a wild deflection. And Germany ending the game strong. Ben Schneider, number 10. Bertie Vokes, Scotland's German coach, can hardly look. Schneider, corner. Oliver Neuville to take it and bend his right boot around the ball. Almost a free header for Balak in it. Lands on the top of the net. Michael Balak has scored so many important headed goals for Germany and for Bayern Munich. McNamara. Crawford. And Crawford injured in that last exchange. Burns. Smith helping it back to Rab Douglas, who's had a very good game. Scotland and Germany and level on goals, and they're still level on points. The Germans still have a match in hand over Scotland, but this is probably Bertie Vogt's most important result as Scotland coach. Final score from Hampden Park here, Scotland 1, Germany 1.